Yeah, I'll be showing you how to make this bracelet using pop tabs. Um, this one's a bit fiddly, so here goes. First of all, you get your yarn, just any thin yarn will do. Put a slip knot in it to attach your crochet hook. And you're basically going to crochet two pop tabs together. So you grab two, lay them on top of each other, so the smaller holes are on top of each other. It makes a basic heart shape. So you put the crochet hook through the hole, grab the yarn, pull it back through, and basically you just do this basic stitch. So you go through the hole, grab the yarn, pull it back through the front, grab the yarn again and pull it through both hoops that you just made. Hopefully you can see this if the camera's not too blurry. I'm not very good at explaining it. So if you look on any basic crochet video, it will show you how to do this stitch. And basically you just do this around the whole tabs. So once one edge is filled up, you just pop over to the next hole and crochet around it again. So that's literally all you have to do around this bit. Be careful when you get to this corner top bit because the yarn can catch on the bit that was attached to the can. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit of a mouthful there. So just make sure you do the stitches tightly together until you get round to when you meet the other can. And then you just put your crochet hook through the next tab and you carry on. And you basically do this around the whole other side until you get back to where you started. And this makes your basic um, pop tab heart. Depending on how long you want your bracelet, you'd need about five of these for the average bracelet. Obviously you want it shorter or longer, take one off or add one to it. Okay, so just keep going with that. And then once you get back to where you started, you just have to do one single stitch at the end and then pull the yarn through and then cut it and then pull the rest of it through nice and tight. So finished with a little knot and then just finish it off with a couple of normal knots. Now this one, um, when I cut off the edges, the strings, I left it too short, usually I leave it slightly longer so I can tuck the yarn underneath the stitches at the side so it's not just left out hanging. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay, so here's where I trimmed it, trimmed it a bit too short. As you can see, because I usually just tuck it into one of the stitches at the side, so that's a lot more clean looking. Okay, and all you have to do now is attach it to other pop tab hearts. So all you need is a jump ring, and you just literally slip it through one of the stitches at the corner of the heart, and then you just slip it through another heart as well. Sorry if my hands are getting in the way, but I did forget my pliers this day. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit fiddly, but once you find the centre of the stitch, you'll go in nicely. Okay, and then just close it up. Like I say, about five would do, and you can use the larger pop tabs as well. And then one end, all you have to do is add, add some sort of clasp, like this lobster clasp. Oh, some reason I get tongue tied when I say that, and add a chain to the other end so you can attach it. And obviously, the chain gives you extra length as well if you need it. And that's pretty much it, just as simple as that. And that's it, okay? Thank you, bye.